And guys, I'm gonna play a video, and the video obviously is deep fake, but it looks super realistic. What would art be like without emotions? It would be empty. What would our lives be like without emotions? They would be empty of values. So uh, a famous uh, classical poet said, we hate and we love, can one tell me why? Holy smokes, absolutely insane. The AI video is getting insanely realistic, especially this particular model from China, Omnihuman, is absolutely insane. I feel China is winning the AI race as of right now, breaking the stranglehold of the US-based companies. But this model produces some crazy video generations. This basically takes in an input image, and you can add an audio or video with it, and this model animates your image with the given audio or the video inputs. So let me play you some examples. We will become. And I know about this because I had the opportunity to stand on top of the Olympic podium and feel the weight of that gold medal around my neck. And I wouldn't have been there had it not been. This amazes me how realistic this seems to be, to be fair. It's able to capture the mouth movements, coordinate them with the body movements, and lip sync at the same time. All that was keeping the consistency, and the video doesn't seem to hallucinate that much. We have seen other video models like Kling and Minimax, and they do seem to hallucinate quite that much. My first guess is the man who made electric cars a thing, and is currently working on perfecting reusable rockets, space travel, connecting the human brain directly to computers, connecting cities with electromagnetic bullet trains, the Starlink satellite system that's so important to the war in Ukraine, and then on Tuesday. <laughs> it's gonna work on Again, pretty impressive. The thing to note here, when the audience laughed, the host facial movements kept still. So AI does know where to place each movement of the body. Let it be the face, let it be the leg movements also. When the audio seems to emphasize on any point, the hand gestures also emphasize on that particular point. Which tells us the coordination of these AI models are making with the audio and the body and the leg movements are all on point. These principles will not only make your user's journey more pleasant, they'll contribute to better business metrics as well. Users hate being interrupted, and they hate getting broken experiences. Keeping these principles in mind in your app design makes for a better user journey. Again, remarkable stuff. This seems as real as they get. If I just saw them scrolling, I would believe these are real. It animates his whole body movements as he gives out the presentation. And let me remind you, all this is from a single image and an audio. The rest is all AI generated. The legs even seem to be moving as he speaks. So to be honest, this is pretty scary stuff to be fair. Again, another input image that is a little tricky where the guy is wearing a mask so you can't really see the facial features. Again, pretty good stuff. It did try to copy the lip sync and the facial features from the mask. So I would say not too bad of a job. A user on Twitter reacting to this says, imagine how this can be used for social engineering, cyber warfare on social media. And this is a genuine concern. Deepfakes and negative use of videos, already a big part of cyber crime. With AI models like these, it just skyrockets even more. You know, these models are gonna be open source, accessible to the whole world. To be honest, I only see downsides of these, because there are little to no regulations for these already. Things are just gonna get worse as we move on. I don't think we anticipate how fast things are gonna get worse as this cyber warfare goes. If you can take any image and make it say anything and make it seem realistic, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Guys, if you're into AI related stuff, do like and subscribe. There are some anime and cartoon examples as well. Let me play those out for you. On the day I was born, I looked in your eyes and felt your sweet love. I knew you were the one when I opened my eyes. Oh, nothing. Just, uh, oh, <laughs> stretching before we hit the aisles. <laughs> Shopping is the number one cause of pulled hamstrings. <laughs> Probably didn't know that. <laughs> The anime expressions, it seems to pick up on the head nods, the face movements all seem quite realistic. Again, a major shift in how we see animation is also going to take place. That's what I can predict seeing these videos. They do a great job generating animation art. 
So you just have to generate an anime image which can be done using mid journey or flux and then these ai witty models can just make your animation art for you just by giving prompts so in the near future you won't need big production for animation art anymore it would make the whole process quite fast quite more secure let me know what you think